Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to send get or post request to a PHP server using Android Studio. So let's get started. So open Android Studio and choose one empty activity. Then click next and then give your app name. I'm giving my app name as PHP Android. Then click on next finally. So uh, after clicking on finish, uh, some building process will be going on. And what you need to do is to open build.gradle file and paste this library. So I'm going to use here Volley library. So paste after any implementation and then finally click on sync now. Okay, now go inside uh, resource folder and then layout, and then open activity underscore main.xml. So here I'm going to give one edit text and one button to send the data. So I'm skipping the designing part here. So you can see two fields are there. So now uh, at first I have to declare one edit text class. So write edit text e1. And also I have used one button to send that uh, text into server. So write button space b1. And now I have to uh, assign ID to those classes. So write uh, e1 equals to a text and find by ID and add dot id dot and now you have to give one id to each element so give id to edit text as uh, et1 and give button to uh, this button to save okay so now just uh, write et1 okay then also for uh, button b1 write button and find view by id add dot id dot save so write b1 dot set on click listener and then create that view okay so now write string s equals to and convert that uh, edit text into string so write get text dot to string and then again i need one string url and i will show you that uh, i have already hosted one php server so i'm not going to use any localhost php here so i'm just uh, declaring the string at the top because i will need it later then write string request and create one object of string request so write new string request and here you have to pass the method so write request dot method dot post in case you want to send get request so write get here so then pass the url or the endpoint where you need to send your data and then some uh, overridden functions will be there to take the response and also uh, two override, overridden functions will be there one is for the success one is for the failure so i'm just uh, skipping this part and showing you as a toast message whatever response will be there so just write whatever i am writing here so okay then again another one overwritten method will be there okay so here in this method uh, you have to map with the key and the value okay so just remove this part okay so inside it you have to just map key and value so write uh, map and I will send as string string pair and I will map string with string okay so write string comma string 
and then create one object here okay now just write params dot put and then write the key name and remember the key name is your body parameter so the key name will be data and I'm passing s to it okay and finally return params here okay now come out of it and write request queue and create one object of it and write volley dot new request queue and pass the instance of this class so write main activity dot this and then write uh, the object request queue dot add and pass that string request okay so now we have to enter into manifest file and at the top we have to give permission so write uses dot uses dash permission and just type internet and here you go okay now i'm showing you that hosted php file so here is my php file uh, so i have already written that query to insert into my database so here just i am taking the post request argument so you can see this is my database and has my index page file so what i am doing here i am just uh, taking the post request giving the key as data and inserting it into my database so you can do the same with localhost so i'm running uh, the app on my device and here you can see if i click on save button one success toast is there and if i go inside my database and refresh the page you can see the text message there so that's it for today i will keep the link of this project inside my description section you can check it out thank you